Today I'm going to show you how to take a few spare parts and make a solar dehydrator for fruit. I'm going to use a baking pan to collect heat from the sun. I'll move the air around with a 12 volt computer fan. And finally it'll be powered by a 12 volt solar module that I grabbed at Harbor Freight for a battery charger. The pan is 12 inches wide and 14 inches long, so I'm going to make the box one inch bigger on the inside in both directions. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this out on my table saw. For safety, I'm going to adjust the height of the blade just a fraction of an inch over the top of the plywood. Now if this had been any longer I would have had to use my cross cut sled but I can go ahead and cut the ends off at this length safely. Now using a push stick for the narrow pieces I'm going to cut out the sides. I'll cut the sides to length on the chop saw. I'm going to dry fit these together to make sure everything fits properly before I nail it together. The next thing I need to do is cut a hole for the fan. I'll mark the hole and then I'm going to cut it out with a jigsaw. I'm drilling a starter hole so I can get my jigsaw blade in there and then I'll cut out the circle. At the other end of the dehydrator, I'm just going to put a slit in so I can get some air flow through there. I want to elevate the pan, so I'm going to put a couple of strips on the side so that air can flow above and below the pan. I'm using half inch plywood, so I'm going to tack these in with three quarter inch brads. Next, I'll attach the sides. I couldn't get a pencil in there to mark the wood, so I'm just going to use a drill bit to mark it, then I'll take the fan off and pre-drill the holes. I'm attaching this with four half inch screws. Since this is just a prototype, I need a simple lid to hold the sheet of plastic. Four short pieces of scrap wood will do the trick. To hold the lid in place, I'm going to put in two short blocks in each corner. I'm just going to put nails in the lower part and then the lid will come on and off easily. I'm just using a piece of painter's plastic and then I'm going to staple it on and wrap it around the bottom. I want to see how well this is going to work so I'm going to do a quick test and let this sit in the sun for about five minutes. Well, Let's go take a look and see what kind of temperature we're getting. Alright we're getting over 120 and that's great. Uh, 
I need about 135 and it turns out I can get that in about 10 minutes so this is going to work great. So check out the next video and we'll see how these bananas come out over the next day or two.